So after after the uh, dead zone, you still oh, oh we we uh, we have to return to the original question actually. Yeah. Um, so Shivers Rabbit, The Brood, Videotron, these were all scripts that I wrote myself, and then I was uh, proposed. Uh, an adaptation of a Stephen King novel, which was The Dead Zone, by Deborah Hill, and by, who was the producer, producing it for Dino De Laurentiis. And uh, it, was, it was so interesting to me to, to, to think of myself as doing that, that I, I, I said yes, and we ended up making the film, and I discovered that to mix your blood with another writer, in this case Stephen King, was really very exciting, and that the, the fact that I hadn't written the script, I, I sort of oversaw the script. I chose the screenwriter and so on, but I didn't write the I didn't write the script myself, and it was definitely a blending of my sensibility and Stephen King's sensibility and the writer's sensibility. Uh, people who see the Dead Zone think they f it feels like the novel to them, but if you read the novel, you'll see that it's very very different from the movie. But somehow, yeah, I, I, there's no, there really is no way to translate directly a, a novel into a film. The, the two media are really, really very different. And I know that even more now that I've written my first novel, uh, they're completely different uh, forms of art. What you can do is replicate the tone of the novel. You can't do it sort of specifically and, and in detail but it feels like the novel. And that's what happened with The Dead Zone. It was the first adaptation of a Stephen King novel that he thought was good. You know, he had had many of his novels adapted and, and he, he hated them all, and he really loved The Dead Zone, so it was a first for him. And then I realized after that that I shouldn't worry about whether, where does the film come from? It can come from your dream, it can come from uh, your life, but it can also come from someone else's work. And so I've ended up working with some one fantastic adaptations of novelists, uh, J.G. Ballard for, for Crash, and William Burroughs for Naked Lunch, and uh, uh, David Wong's play for M. Butterfly, and so on and so on, Bruce Wagner for Maps of the Stars. So it's been, uh, it changed my understanding of what filmmaking could be, and still be very personal to me.